aggressive about developing strategies and approaches that are particular and specific to the different parts of the Commonwealth uh, to address and to deal with these issues that are associated with climate change. And the work that our team, that Secretary Beaton and his team put in on this bill, and the work that the legislature did on it is fundamentally important to so many elements of the future uh, success of the Commonwealth. And I really appreciate the fact that the legislature took a number of the elements associated with that executive order we wrote on climate change, especially around municipal vulnerability planning and hazard mitigation work, and codified that. I also really appreciate the legislature's decision to fund um, the adaptation and resiliency piece at around $500 million and to get very aggressive about the money to support both environmental protection and um, recreational assets as well, that was part, and natural assets that was part of that legislation. And one is building upon uh, the governor and certainly the lieutenant governor's commitment in partnership with communities. Uh, community investment was a central focus of this. Uh, you heard the governor mention the municipal vulnerability preparedness plan uh, that has been met with uh, great embrace by our communities, now representing over 40% of the communities across the Commonwealth in under two years participating in this program. Uh, in addition to that, we have about $580 million or so that will help us to continue a lot of the traditional EEA grant programs and some new grant programs that will go to our communities to help communities in uh, expanding recreational and environmental protection opportunities inside their community and certainly building upon the resilience and resiliency and uh, making our communities more adapted to uh, a changing climate. So when we do things in an environmental bond, it's not just put in a, a, a name. You know, for me, it's very visceral. When I think about what people have given up to make sure that we're going to have a great environment and great resources going forward, and that's really what it's about. And when you talk about the environment, it is resiliency. It is making sure that we're doing what we can do for climate adaptation. adaptation. It, all those things are so very important. But we can't lose sight of the fact that today, again, there are kids out in the woods playing archery, kickball, swimming in our ponds. We owe it to them to make sure that we are with the good stewards, as the Senator mentioned, of the environment here in Massachusetts. Their lives will be so different because of the programs that are offered and because of the places in which those programs are offered. Our parks, our camps, and our playgrounds. So today I want to thank the Governor for thinking about tomorrow. Mr. Secretary, thank you for thinking about tomorrow and thank all of you for all the work that you do and have done in remembering that this is a very important piece of legislation and that as much as we do it for ourselves, we do it for the next generation, for all those kids who are out in the woods today having so much fun. Thank you.